What's up guys, we're back we're looking at some more NBA player props in today's video. Let's hop in, hopefully cash some winners. We've hit 11 of our last 15 plays, which is 73%. Let's keep it going and cash some more plays. This new applies to not just prize picks, but also sports books, underdog fantasy, wherever you guys are. These lines are available pretty much everywhere. But before we get into these free plays, if you're not already in the dub club, make sure you check it out because you can join for free right now. There is a two-day free trial linked down in my description and the first down in the comment section. This is my best package. It includes Discord chat, all of my plays sent straight to your phone through the Dub Club app, email, Telegram, or Discord. Bunch of ways to receive my plays. My lifetime net winnings on prize picks over $5,000. That is profit. And this does not even include my profit from sleeper, chalkboard, underdog, or sports books. So that's how I know that I'm reputable and I'm a consistent winner on all these apps and especially prize picks. You guys can see right here just the straight up dollar amount net winnings from prize. But also, if you want some more free plays from me, make sure you guys check me out on Twitter at DMG Props. Or if you don't have Twitter, join the free Discord. You guys can get some more free plays over there if I have a play of the day that I absolutely love. I post it on the Twitter or in the Discord. We've hit seven of our last eight. But with that being said, let's get to what you've been waiting for the free plays. Just play responsibly, natural risk. Leave a like in the video and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. But most importantly, have those post notifications turned on so you do not miss future uploads. You can get in before some of these lines move. Let's get into it here. The first player prop that I like today in the NBA is going to be in the points category. I'm keeping this super basic here. Anthony Edwards, over 27 points today. Really simple read right here for Anthony Edwards. He's under this in all four games, and he is pushed in that last one right there. But he's under in all three games so far this series as well. But let's take a look at why I like the over for him today. So you can see here that he is over this in none of those games there. However, he's at 19, 21, and 26 points. And that has been on 16, 17, and 24 field goal attempts. This is an elimination game. The two elimination games that he's had so far this playoff series has been in this game here against Denver with 17 field goal attempts and this game here against Denver with 24. So he's had 17 and 24 in back-to-back -back elimination games that he's seen so far in this playoffs. However, that that 17 right there came in only about 33.7 minutes, which is the lowest amount of minutes he's played by a long shot in his last 10 games and in these playoffs so far. And by the way, he had 27 points in that game right there against Denver where he had those 17 field goal attempts. So I think this should be a great spot here for Anthony Edwards because he clearly shoots a ton when it comes to elimination games. You know, 17 and 24, 24 field goal attempts in those uh, couple of uh, desperation games, I would say. So really, let's take a look at games where he's shot 17 or more times because I'm expecting that today. I'm probably expecting, again, those 24-ish field goal attempts. But you see here, he's over in 63% of games. You look at him on the road, he's over in 57%. He gives it a win, he's over in 67%. He gives it a lose, down to 55%. But that's just with 17-plus field goal attempts. Like I said, I think we see about 24 but it definitely 20 plus field goal attempts today. I'd be shocked if we did not have that. And when he sees 20 or more field goal attempts, He's over in 77% of games. And those splits don't really look too terrible either. I mean, only down to 70% right there. And losses down to 67%, but in wins, all the way up to 81% of games. So it kind of depends if you think they're, they're going to make this a 3-1 series or if you think they're going to get swept. So I'm definitely expecting a bounce back from Anthony Edwards here because I think he's going to stay aggressive. He happened to he happened to miss on the hook last game here against Dallas. He had only 26 points. However, he shot pretty damn bad. I mean, he shot 46%. I guess it wasn't too terrible. He happened to miss two free throws when he really does not miss too many free throws really at all but that other game where he was in an elimination game uh right there against denver where they won that game seven he did shoot 25 percent right there on 24 field goal attempts but i love the aggressiveness here he's cashed time and time again with 29 25 field goal attempts and like i said i think we're gonna see those 20 plus field goal attempts today i think we see about 24 not necessarily more than 24 but still when he does have 24 plus he's over in 82 percent of games i think it's a great spot here i expect anthony edwards to be aggressive and that's uh, kind of my reasoning for taking this player prop today before we get into player prop number two if you are not already on chalkboard, it is one of the best apps out there for sure. And today, I believe we are going to get six different promos. This is what we had last Tuesday. I'm expecting the same type of deal going on today. It's a $20 max entry and a one-time use for each, but there's six different discounts. I'm expecting this again today. They did it last Tuesday, and I expect that to come out around noon, but they also have promos all the time on this app. They're out on the board right now because I believe we're getting those promos around 12 today, but if you just click on the flash category. There's a ton of different promos there. NBA has some awesome categories, including first basket, typically on the board. Right now, they have first assist on the board, so you can play Luka to have the first assist of the game. They also have like free throws made, few goals made first quarter points uh, and all those other normal stats as well and they also have alt lines as well there's so many different options on this app so if you're not already on chalkboard right now is one of the best times to join use promo code DOMG for first and deposit match up to $100 link to join is down in my description all right now let's get to player prep number two and this one's going to be over in the MLB category if you guys need a pair for the Anthony Edwards and we're going to hop over to the pitching outs category because I like Kyle Gibson 
Over 16 and a half outs here. Looks like a lot of people are also on this. Just posted at the Dub Club about uh, an hour, 30 minutes ago. But you see here what he's looked like in his last five games over in three of his last five. He's missed in two of his last three, though, only over once. Let's take a look at like Kyle Gibson, though. He's over in eight out of 10 games so far this season, but only one of his last three games. See what he's done in the past over in 59% of his last 76 games. And now he gets a pretty nice looking matchup here against Cincinnati. They rank 29th in offense versus righties this season and 28th in the last 15 games. And I'm going right back to our method. We do this pretty much every single video and I love these pitching outs. You guys will see this pretty much every single video. What we do, hop over to the earned runs. You can see he's, a, he's favored under two and a half earned runs, minus 125. So not heavily favored under, but the walks, they are heavily favored, minus 190 under two and a half. So let's look at games where he is allowed between one and three earned runs. I think that's a pretty nice baseline to kind of fall upon here. So one to three earned runs. And on top of that, let's look at games where he's had two or less walks since he's a minus 190 under that. He's over in four out of four games this season and 86% of his last 36 games. Although last season he played a lot of games with the Orioles. Well, last season he played every game with the Orioles, but still, I think it's a pretty nice looking matchup here for Kyle Gibson. But let's look at the games where he has gone under this season. So he's had that bad game against Milwaukee, then he had Baltimore right there. Let's focus on Milwaukee first here. Against Milwaukee, he allowed two earned runs. However, he walked four guys, which is why his pitch count got so high. 104 pitches, the most he's seen the entire season in only about five innings in that game. So that's kind of why he went under in that one was the walks, which again, he's a minus 190 under those walks. He's not expected to give up three or even four walks in today's game. Earned runs here though, you can see that they he allowed two against them. But now let's take a look at the Baltimore game here and give an explanation for why he went under against Baltimore. First off, it was a team that he was on last season. They know him, of course. But also the earned runs here, he gave up no earned runs and he gave up no walks. So how the heck did he not go six innings or better in that game? Really, it was a high pitch count. He had 84 pitches right there through four innings. Wasn't looking super great right there for Kyle Gibson. He pitched very, very good. It's just the Orioles were able to just kind of smack him around and just foul off a lot of balls and uh, just keep those long at-bats going. However, he also allowed five hits in that game, which he's a minus 154 to go under five and a half hits today. So he's been eating innings all season. As long as he's getting those quick at-bats and not allowing a lot of hits, which I don't expect today against a pretty bad offense, I'm thinking this should be a really, really nice spot for Kyle Gibson over 16 and a half outs. On top of that, the bullpen, it's a little bit on the weaker side. They've only had two guys not throw 20 or more pitches in the last three games here. They've also had uh, their two relievers that are they're probably going to use today. Libertor and John King, he's thrown, they've thrown 11 and 13 in the last two games here. These guys, I don't really expect to pitch today necessarily. They could, but they've thrown a lot of pitches in the last three games there. So we'll see what they do here. They might use Kyle again here, but we are not doing the free plays quite yet. So stay tuned. But again, don't miss out. If you have not already joined the dub club, you guys can join right now for free. Link is down there in my description. Get a two-day free trial of my best package. Get all my plays sent straight to you. And now let's get some free plays here from the Daily Grind tool. This right here is the Optimizer, which shows off the best expected value plays on apps like Prize Picks, Underdog, or any other app that you can see right up here. Let's go to the refresh button. You can see the best expected value plays on the board right now is in CSGO. There's some overkills right there. You have uh, Pete Alonso, favored over fantasy score. Edwards and Luca over three-point mix as well as favored. So there's a lot of nice looking plays right now on the Optimizer. If you guys like this tool, you can use it for yourself with the link down in my description. Click on the fantasy bundle and scroll down. Use promo code DOMG for 25% off. This is included in a bundle though. So there's actually two other tools that I did not even talk about that are included in this bundle. But also there's another tool sold separately from the same guys called the AI Slip Generator. This tool automatically generates some profitable winning slips. It's up over a thousand units since August 18th. And we see right here, there's two plays I'd like on the board right now. Uh, so let's take a look at a CSGO play. They're both actually CSGO. You see here is a six pick flex over on prize picks. And these are some of the, some of the plays that they like here. Profit margin of 142.46%. That's absolutely massive. And a correlation score of 70.1. So pretty nice looking at you right there from the AI Slip Generator. If you guys want to lock that in for yourself, if you guys like that tool, use this link down in my description, click on AI Slip Generator and scroll down. Use promo code DUMG for 25% off if you guys are interested in the AI Slip Generator. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys hopefully in tomorrow's video. And again, if you guys have not already seen the video on how I made over $5,000, watch this video right here.